this is going to be the year of NFC, the year that NFC and mobile payments finally gain some traction. Uh, so I'm very excited about all of the buzz in the marketplace, particularly from um, ISIS and Google and Android and Apple, all the things that we're expecting um, them to start doing this year in mobile payments. Uh, I think finally we'll, we'll start to get adoption. I know we've been talking about it for a number of years, but this year it's finally going to happen. There's pretty much universal benefits for every stakeholder in the industry once they can kind of get their act together and figure out how they're going to work together. So a significant step forward was the creation of ISIS, which is the mobile operators coming together on a business model and working together. Uh, now it's time for uh, the banks and the merchants to come in and start playing as well. And I think the key to all of that is openness, open standards, and um, not over-worrying uh, revenue uh, streams and business models. I think that's what's held things up in the past. The single thing that could help a flood of mobile payments innovation uh, I think we can take a lesson from Apple and iTunes and also the Apple App Store. Uh, before that, there was downloadable music and there were mobile applications, but because uh, they created an open platform, all of a sudden there was a outburst of innovation in creating um, mobile apps. It was very easy to use and it uh, created things that we could never have imagined uh, would be used um, for on our Apple iPhones. Another example was um, NTT Docomo in Japan when they created their um, uh, Docomo platform. They made it also open uh, to the market and allowed anybody to come and put their applications onto the Docomo platform. So the key to unleashing a flood of mobile innovations is openness.